going on people it's your boy big baby k you know back again with a new video in this video i'm going to talk about some of the similarities some of the difference between my 2013 3.7 v6 and my 2017 ecoboost four cylinder um in some ways the cars are a lot alike and in some ways the cars are a lot different so i'm gonna go over something i like better in each one and um yeah, we're going to go over some of the things that I think really make a big difference. So y'all just stay tuned and um, I'm going to go ahead and get it started. Okay, one of the biggest differences between my 13 V6 S197 and my 17 S550 EcoBoost is the interior. The interior on the S550 is wonderful. It's beautiful. The layout is awesome. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love how the, how the dash swoops up and swoops down. I love the three vents. I love this right here. Even though I, don't, I do, not, do not have the premium one with the bigger screen, this right here is adequate. For a rear view camera, that's adequate. You don't need the big screen. You know, I have navigation on my phone. It's, I don't need all that. This right here is, is, is perfect. Um, I love the, the push start. You know, I don't know why the 13 and 14 didn't have it. But the push start right here, that is awesome. I love the time controls, how, how they feel. Um, I love the steering wheel. It's not too big. It's not too thick. It's like the right, it's like the perfect size to hold on to. It's leather wrapped. It feels good. Um, I love the controls. They're, you know, made of, you know, they're good quality, or plastic quality and not all cheap feeling when you press them. The paddle shifters, they feel pretty sturdy too. Um, I love the gauge cluster. And this is the biggest pet peeve I had about track apps on my uh, S197. If you, when you start the car, it starts with the screen always going to be on the home screen. In this car, whatever screen you leave it on, I got to keep on the boost vacuum gauge. When you cut the car off and start it back over, this screen will always pop up. It always stays on what you leave it on last. And to me, that was a, a great touch. Um, the seats, these are the cloth seats. It's not the leather ones, but they have these little designs in them. To me, that adds a it adds a little bit. It shows a little bit of quality to it. Instead of just being like a, a bland cuff seat, it gives you gives you a little design, makes it look a little bit more expensive. Even though I'm pretty sure it's not, but it gives you that look. You know what I'm saying? And the sound system in this car, even though it's the, the base model EcoBoost, sounds wonderful. Um, the only drawback is the rear seat room is basically it's nothing back there. Um, as you can see. There's no room for nothing back here. Um, I'm five foot nine, and as you can see, my seat is basically this is my passenger seat when my friends ride. They, my seats basically touch the back back seat. They're touching. There's there's no room behind me for nothing. Um, you, nobody can sit behind me. And then if they could, the head the head room because the fastback it swoops down. Uh, your head will be like on the winch, the back windshield. So it, it really, the back seats are basically useless. That's the only drawback to the interior. Um, other than that, the interior for the S550s, a hey, wonderful. I give it an A plus. It's miles ahead of the S197. Now we're gonna talk about the exterior. Y'all got a bad room because it's very sunny out here today. I hope it's, it doesn't mess up the the, uh, the view, but it's very sunny out here today. But the exterior wise from the S197 to the S550 it is <laughs> you know when I first seen it I was like no nah, it looked like big Ford fusion and then I started looking at it I said yeah it's a, it's a beautiful car but to the S197 the S197 was my favorite Mustang body style and when I seen this one I said yeah the S197 looks better then the more you start seeing these cars ride around I say well the S550 is beautiful. It's a, it's a, it gives it more of a, it gives it more of a experience, uh, more expensive profile. It makes the Mustang. It doesn't look cheap anymore. The Mustang actually look like something exotic. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about it. You know, I got the same color I had. Then it got silver. Um, but if you look at the front of it, it is, it is mean. You know. At first, I used to think the S197 and S550 kind of re resemble each other. But when you buy one, you say that they're two, over, two totally different cars. They look nothing alike. <laughs> nothing. This is, this is something that you... 
it's just a, it's a nice automobile. It's, it's it's a wonderful automobile. If you once you buy one, you see what I'm talking about. I can only talk about it, but you have to really own one, drive one to experience what I'm talking about. It, it, it's a real. It's like the best Mustang ever made. Um. So for the exterior, I have to go with the the 17. I'm sorry, S197 owners, but I got to go with the S S550 on this man. These cars are beautiful. It's like there's no ugly angle on this car. The rear of it looks mean. The side of it looks mean. The front of it looks mean, you know. That's this another it, it's just a bad car, man. I love it. And this car right here, a lot of people lower them, but if you look at the overall stance of the car, it is lower. It doesn't sit up like a 4x4 like the S197s do. But this one right here, from the fact that we just stop, it just looks low and sleek. You know what I'm saying? It just, it's a wonderful car, man. Um, I have done one mod to it. Only thing I did was put SVO badges on there. I hope y'all can see that. It gives a, to me, this makes it stand out. When people ride by there, look at it, be like, SVO, what does that stand for, you know? <laughs> but yeah, for the exterior, I got to go with the S550 again. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is probably the engine. Okay. This is the biggest difference to me. The engine. I ain't going to say the biggest. One of the biggest. You know, I'm going to say that plenty of times in the video. Y'all know I exaggerate sometimes when I talk. But back to the video. The engine is a, is a major difference. As you can see, it has a little turbo right there. And it's a four cylinder. Which engine do I like better? Well, that's a hard choice. But it's just different things I like about different engines. But which engine do I like better overall? I would have to say the EcoBoost. I know people are going to how are you going to choose the EcoBoost over the 3.7, man? It's a fucking four cylinder. But I would tell you like this. This is a four-cylinder on steroids, and I would tell you, even though the horsepower numbers are similar, I think my my uh, S197 came stock with 305. After the work I did to it, it was somewhere around 340. This one has 310 horsepower. The major difference is the torque. And I'm gonna tell you, this, you gotta realize this car only has like, well, I think 60 uh, foot-pounds less than a GT. This thing really hauls ass. It really you really feel it kick you back in the seat when you get on it. And the good thing about it is you can get great gas mileage if you drive it normal. Just drive it in, in drive mode, the handles is like a force and you get great gas mileage. You pull it in sport mode and you hammer it down, you would not tell it was a four cylinder. You couldn't tell it. So I have to go with the EcoBoost on this one too. I have to go with the, the EcoBoost four cylinder over the 3.7. Sorry guys, but it's just a better engine. But I will say this about the 3.7. The exhaust note on a 3.7 sounds a million times better than this does. I hate to say that. Even with the exhaust system, they, they sound that sound good, but they can never touch a 3.7 in the sound. So that way, I will get it to the 3.7. It has it in the sound. But everything else, the handling, the looks, the engine, the interior, just everything, it has to go to the EcoBoost with the S550. So... I'll tell anybody, you know, I appreciate y'all watching the vids. Stay tuned for a lot more mods.